morning, everybody. This is Mike Lung over to Allendale's Trading Floor. It is Tuesday, January 5th, starting off the month with some strong markets here. Beans continuing to push higher after sell-off here yesterday. A uh, little head fake, what seems right now, with a large volatility entry in this market. So let's take a peek at what's going on. You have on the fundamental side of news yesterday, big uh, concerns about this new strain of coronavirus continuing to spread not only across the sea, but also now stateside. Uh, what that means, what lockdowns are going to be looking like. You already seen the EU, uh, Britain, all looking to lock down. So that fear really gripped the market yesterday, leading to a 7 point, 700 point sell off one point at the Dow. Uh, cattle looking to have followed suit yesterday as well. On the positive side of things, it looks like Argentina farm groups are now threatened to strike after the last strike was just resolved by refusing to sell the cash grains over this export license. So something to be paying attention to there, a uh, big corn story to be watching for. And as we said earlier, beans showing a very large intraday swings uh, yesterday. I saw ju just shy of uh, 50 cent move here in the bean market. So a lot of volatility entering this market showing that uh, maybe we're getting a little bit shaky here in the legs the higher and higher we go uh, above 13. On China side of things, it looks like it is continuing to spread there with reports saying that the strain has uh, entered East China's Providence, province. So something definitely to take a peek at there. On the technical side of things, still above the old channel that the beans have broken out of. Like I said yesterday, nice uh, big bar on the day. Could be looking at potentially a bull pennant forming here if we can get another day or two of some inside days to help uh, springboard us to the next level up here, which everyone's now checking. $14 with us keep rifling through these uh, dollar marks. So we'll be watching that. But again, be very careful of these beans up here with uh, how shaky they are, how you could be looking to uh, manage your risk and all that good stuff. Uh, so be watching for that. Uh, we are getting confirmation of the RSI of this up move. Uh, so moving in tandem. On the livestock side, I think show us down 100 head with average cash trade last week up to 111.83 on the box beef side of things. The PM report show choice down very minimally with select up 88 cents on the hog side of things. Carcass down 81. We do have a cattle report coming up here at the end of the month, something to be paying attention to the further we progress through the month of January into the new year. On the technical side of things, you did get a decent sized sell off with the Dow also selling off yesterday. A lot of concerns about this coronavirus, what it may mean for packing plants. But as of right now, it could say for a large uh, long term looking a bit sideways since the month late month of uh, October. So as of right now, still be looking at potential sideways trading range, uh, potential break of 110, break and close below that to negate this look and 117 to the top side. So be watching for those technical looks here today with uh, momentum pushing lower here on the chart here yesterday. If you guys have a second, please give our sales department a call, 800-262-7538. We have our Ag Leaders Conference coming up here at the end of the month on the 27th and 28th with Drew Lerner kicking it off on the 27th with his first weather outlook for the next six-month period. If you guys have any questions for me directly, please give me a call, 815-578-6177. Don't forget to check out our premium research, which does have trades associated with all the uh, market comments that we, I have been providing. Any questions, please give me a call again at 815-578-6177. But today for Allendale, this is Mike Lung. You guys have a great one out there.